Stefano, kia ora, Joe Holly here coming to you live from the, wow, well, would look at this studio, wow, well, isn't this amazing, this is just actually my door, let me show you this, woo, <laughs> from Vibe Shift and Lift, and right now I'm catching up with Rob Kipper-Williams, one of the brothers, you might recognise him on many shows, one from over in Australia, his home, home, away, something, something away, home, kia ora bro, how are you today? I'm really good, thanks, uh, just settling down here in, um, near the mount. The perfect that you made it home, you're back on Aotearoa soil. Yeah, I, uh, it was actually a last minute decision, like it was at seven o'clock I thought, I just had this really strong feeling that I had to go home. So I just threw everything in a bag and um, the flight was at 9.55 and I made it there in time and here I am back in New Zealand. It's nice to be home, eh, in Aotearoa at this time. Well, I'm glad that we got you here safe and sound, brother. Now, I have been snooping online on your Instagram and everything, and I found an awesome video. And when I watched it, I went, oh, man, everyone needs to watch this, especially all of our Māori whanau. You know, you did it for your iwi, but I think that it needs to go across everyone's iwi because keeping our whanau at home, especially our outer ones, they like to tiki tour around and get out there with that, ah, oh, I'm all right, I'm all right attitude. Funnily enough, my, my cousins, because my, my grandfather lives down in, in Fielding and my cousins were trying to explain to him, he's, he's like 91, trying to explain to him what's going on, that you can't leave uh, the house. And then um, next thing you know, this morning, he's, he, they, one of the cousins see him drive past their house in his car. They're like, what's he doing? And he was taking some rubbish to the refuse because he was worried about the rubbish building. I was honored that my, my iwi, um, on my grandmother's side, reached out to me and asked if I'd uh, if I'd do a video, explain some of the some of the things to look out for. Mm. Yeah, let's talk about what you did in that video. So, um, how to deliver groceries to uh, elders. I'm going to throw to that after this, so people can have a little nohi at it and get some tips for their whānau as well. One of the things is to, is to keep surfaces clean, uh, particularly stainless steel. So. Um, Using something that uh, some 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 detergent or disinfectant that will actually keep all the surfaces clean, and clean them as regularly as you can, as often as you can. It's really weird how clean I've become over the last couple of weeks. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to go wash my hands. Hang on a moment. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's like that. Uh, the other one was washing your hands and like making um, making an intention to actually do it for for intentionally doing it for 20 seconds um, is, is out of the, out of the ordinary for us. Mm. Um, and you actually something. had a song there that you were recommending to your iwi, and I had a song here. Have you heard of Pai Kia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we can do Pai Kia when we do our washing of our hands. What was yours? It was uh, the first verse of Three Little Birds Sits by my doorstep Sing it sweet songs. <laughs> anything that's 20 seconds, guys. Anything that's 20 seconds. Gonna go to the shop. Uh, just really have a think about whether you should go. You really do need to go. Um, and if you do go, it should, should be to gather supplies, not only for yourself, but for, um, for your komatua or your friends. The other thing was when you get to the store, make sure you keep your distance, at least two meters from the people that are in the shop. Man, it's so strange to actually hear myself saying that but you have to do it uh in this day and age did you see that video of that fella and he was up walking around and he had he had a cardboard box on and he was going around <laughs> try it try it everybody give it a crack it's, uh going for a walk so we're still allowed out and about we can go outside we can go for a walk um but if we see people coming the other way uh we can we go the other way, um, which is which is also weird for us in this day and age. Um, keeping well, your distance, especially as Maori, we're used to going up, hugs, kisses, hongies, kia ora, having a big chat. Um, it's kind of hard to you kind of go for it, eh? and then you go, oh, hang on, and then you feel, oh, gee, I feel bad, but you just got to do the East Coast kia ora. The East, the fielding flick. So I'm actually in self isolation now. And because uh, I flew back from Aussie on Saturday and a friend dropped off some food yesterday and it was just sort of strange. We're, we're both Māori and it, she was sort of just standing on the other side of the table and she left the food by the door, knocked on the door and stepped back by the gate. And we're just sort of having this conversation from about uh, probably about 10 metres distance. And that for us Māori is, is a little bit strange. It's out of the ordinary. Uh, so there's no hongies, there's no hugs, there's no kisses. 
And particularly if you're, um, you're in lockdown or self-isolating, this is one of the other tips, with whānau members, and you get sick, or you start to feel a cough, then you should be isolating yourself in the part of the house. No more hugs and kisses in the house. If you start to have a cough, it's the building flick again. <laughs> You've got to go and watch this whānau, like seriously, amazing video that you filmed there, Rob. Ah, uh, Rob, it's the East Coast Kia not the Fielding Flick. But go check out his video whānau and we'll be back with him because he's got an awesome tool we can all use.